Yo, collect and connect with Blake and Chad. Chad and Blake. Collect and connect. Blake and Chad's collect and connect. This is Luke Chu. Dave Wrestler. Blake and Chad's. This is Blake and Chad's. This is Collect and Connect. connected out at designer con um and uh in anaheim and i met you out there for a few moments i'm sure you're through the crowd you probably remember but i got your shirt on definitely got it with the signature on you know definitely representing and uh, i was able to meet um you know your wife out there and we connected and she was like hey you know um, me and chad have been doing this show for quite a while and uh we were yeah. able to connect with quite a few vv artists as well and our our, our our show is pretty much just to connect the community back you know to the artists and the artists back to the community and we've we've had a good opportunity to meet quite a few artists and again this is our first show for season two and you you're 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 hooking it up and uh you know this is an honor for us and you know you're putting a smile Definitely. on our face yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know um, and again to meet you in person the shake you know i think it was a fist bump more than anything but the the energy out at, at uh vv was just amazing uh in that corner i didn't really leave that corner and I didn't get to your booth till the end, uh, but uh, you know, was able to meet you, and it was pretty cool. So, why rabbits started <laughs> off with <laughs> straight up why rabbits? <laughs> wow, really? No point beating around the bush. Well, you know what? Here's the deal with rabbits. Like I always dug rabbits, even when I was a kid. You know, rabbits are weird, dude. Like uh, there's a reason that rabbits have this sort of kind of allure. You know, uh, if you look really seriously, like if you look down through different cultures and stuff, like it's really cool. Like in um i think it's as either as uh, i think it's mayan culture that's like this 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 trickster god that is a rabbit like it's a big huge rabbit dude you know and, uh, right. but rabbits i've always kind of liked them and as an artist they're kind of you know really cool to draw you know um and the reason the way that i really started drawing them in my art like in the you know, present state that they're in. Um, we, me and my girl back in the day, we had a, uh, this is years ago. We had a pet rabbit. We had a, a gray, it was a gray English lop. And anybody that knows those rabbits, man, those rabbits, dude, they're like dogs. Like they, <laughs> they, like we would come home from, you know, we come in the house and, and, and he would hear us and he'd come, he'd hop up to us and get up, you know, to be pet. Get up. Like they, they were like the perfect pit because like, they don't make noise. <laughs> they don't bark or scream or anything like that. Um, they, they, they like naturally like potty train, like they piss in a, in a, litter okay. box or whatever and then even if they fuck up and when they do number two it's like little hard dry balls <laughs> so it's like no mess <laughs> 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 and uh and so i started drawing him that that bunny and i'm trying to think the first poster that i did and i put bunny might have been like for an afi show um either an AFI show or a Deftone show, maybe an early Deftone show. And, uh, and so I draw these weird little bunnies. Right. And, um, and I would always kind of like put them in situations that were like really kind of human situations and people just start like digging it, like really. And so, and I would use them as a way of like saying some things that I kind of wanted to say, and they were kind of like a vehicle for me to, to say it. They were like a real nice little friendly little way to say some heavy stuff that you might not want to hear. <laughs> and, and so, yeah, man, uh, they just got to be a thing and people really connected with them. And over the years, people still, yeah, I've had, I've had rocks, rock 
bands request them on post like could you give us the bunnies we'd like something <laughs> what's that like i mean it's what, fun, you know it's, it's gotta be pretty cool <laughs> no it's cool because yeah you know it's it's great to have something that people like relate to and, and connect to um and then you know when i start getting and probably right right around the early 2000s when i started getting into um designer vinyl toys art toys um the first thing i did was actually the bat the darrow the the yep. big bear thing right uh -huh. um but then the bunnies came soon after and uh it's just this you know it's, it's not just the bunnies but it's the raccoons you know there's this this story about how they they're struggling for this patch of woods and there's all this kind of like intrigue and there's you know there's some wild random shit that's some really deep stuff it can some of it is really spiritual some of it is really just kind of like just mindlessly violent you know uh, <laughs> but it's a way for me to tell a story and use these creatures these you know this anthropomorphic way of storytelling where you just use these creatures and you can really say some heavy things and people will listen because it's little animals <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Cute. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, if I try to make a statement, you know, like in this day and age, man, if I want to make some statement on like, I don't know. Oh, you better be politically correct nowadays. Yeah. And like for me, like I don't have to be in, in some cases, you don't have to be politically correct. If you yeah, are, if you're framing it in a different way. So it's like, oh, look at these little fucking racist ass <laughs> bunnies, man. You know, like <laughs> Look at these little violent raccoons, you know. Look, look at this. Yeah, shit. You can do that. Them. That's the best part about art, right there. Yeah, and so you can do that, and then people get attached to the characters, and like, and then you know, I've got a lot of weird beliefs and experiences, so it's able. I'm able to channel a lot of that into these characters and these creatures, and try to build an environment, which is why Web three is beautiful because yeah. Web three allows me yeah. this this like universe where i can actually make these things um animated <laughs> animated come and, to life and you're this is your come to life i say all the time part. i'm like i think web3 for artists is just the perfect mix of everything because now you can actually take your 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 physical piece that you've been creating for 20 years into a web3 version and create it into a I guess a cartoon or, you know, however your brain is thinking about that style or however how you've been thinking about building it for 15 years. Now you could actually put it into a web three and create that whole, um, that storyline, that storytelling aspect of the NFT. I think one of the worst mistakes that artists can make is to explain themselves or explain too much because when I do that, I take the power away from the viewer and like, What's really yeah. going to make art last is when a person is able to own it for themselves and own it for their yeah. reasons. So like, I kind of like, you know, I do it. I might say a few words about like, yeah, this is what I was trying to say, whatever. But after that, like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, fill your mind with any ideas for me on what an image means i want yeah. whatever it means to you that's what it means you know? yeah i mean that's what our kind of in essence is right to just allow the viewer to depict it however it is they want myself right. I, that, and that's what i do like and i seeing that from others but i also like picking the artist's mind and finding out why it is or how that came from you know the emotions that you're feeling or what you're thinking of when you're creating we got some skate decks we saw of yours too you, you doing skate decks or what's going I was on just gonna them? ask that perfect yeah <laughs> Uh, I've I've got a my, my I've done a lot of skate decks through the years, you know, for different uh -huh. companies. But then I have my own uh, line, the Darrow seventy two, uh, and I think the last the last edition we did was series three. Series four will be coming like this spring, uh, so there'll be typically there's anywhere from you know four to six new boards a series. So okay, spring. So, yeah. I'm writing this, it down. Skate decks. Yeah, spring. But I'm a skate deck slash, collector, man. Oh yeah, spring slash summer. You know, there'll be somewhere between 
somewhere between four and six new boards. So, uh, oh, super limited then, huh? Are 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 they going to be individual boards, or will it be like a a theme? No, you know what? I'll tell you. I, they've always, to date, they've always been individual boards. Okay. Um, I may mix in a theme. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got a piece of artwork. I've got a really well-known piece of artwork that I did back uh shit 20 uh 24 years ago. Uh and it's a cool piece of art that's like among the poster collectors, like it's it's one of those kind of pieces that people look for. Um, but I also have it, it's it's a pretty popular image. It's uh in the art of modern rock. Uh, book the the sort of poster on modern the bible on modern poster art um yeah it's it's the center spread just um uh but it was a piece of art i did back in 99 for um uh, for for a chemical brothers tour and um and it's just perfect for four boards like one the whole image so I may try to do that as a separate thing. It may be outside of the series. Gotcha.